everyone, welcome to this episode of the Crux OCM video blog. Today we're going to talk about the energy transition and I want to talk about beginning three things we know for sure about the energy transition. So number one, we know for sure that oil and gas demand and usage is decreasing over time. That we know. We had claims of peak oil. There have been increases in oil and gas usage since COVID. However, we're likely potentially plateauing or reaching that. Uh, number two, what we know for sure is we know that transition to net zero and fully renewables in our energy system is going to happen. And that's already happening with significant investment into clean tech, hydro, wind and solar. So number three, the third thing that we know for sure is we know that global energy demand is increasing. So as the population increases, as people get more and more uh, modern in their societies, they're using more energy. And so more people are using more energy over time. So how do those three things tie together? What we don't know is how long those three things are taking. So how long before we fully decrease in oil and gas usage? How long before we're at 100% renewables and at complete net zero? And how long uh, will energy demand keep increasing year over year globally? So, you know, we all know that we're, we're searching for those silver bullets with climate change, right? We, we know that there is increasing, ever increasing investment into renewables, electrification, uh, all of those things are fantastic, how to reach net zero. We also know that with uh, pressures and climate change pressures, there is decreasing investments into oil and gas. So as those things are all moving and we don't know that time span, there's this sliver of time right now in the immediate next, say, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, that again, we don't really know, where efficiency becomes extremely important. So with those oil and gas assets, which are still supplying, I believe, 80 plus percent of our energy usage day to day, we're at over 100 million barrels a day of oil and gas consumption globally. So as those investments are coming down, it's really important that we're using those assets as efficiently as possible. Now, a way that we can do that is leveraging automation and software. So by increasing the automation of your assets through the control room and how control room operators actually operate these assets, you can increase the utilization of the assets. So imagine, you know, your, uh, your uh, cruise control in your car, autopilot in your plane, right? So automation is better, faster, stronger, safer. So we bring that technology into the control room and then we're having an operation that is better, faster, stronger, safer, resulting in a higher utilization. What that means is that with the existing assets, we can meet growing energy demands while those investments in clean tech and renewables are growing, but while we're still waiting uh, for, for those all to catch up to the ever increasing global energy demand. So automation and increasing software and increasing efficiency in our existing assets is an absolutely crucial part of the beginning of the energy transition that cannot be forgotten about as we're targeting those long-term end goals. So, so yeah, so if folks are, are enjoying these talks, uh, please do uh, comment below, like, and subscribe, and uh, we'd love to chat more about the energy transition and, and anything to do with automation and control rooms. Mm -hmm.